What's up, Arcade Monsters? This is Zane at Pixel Palace Arcade and Bar in beautiful Round Rock, Texas. This is vlog number eight slash 2023 recap. I'm gonna shut up and just get right to it. All right, here we go. Sorry for the abrupt intro there. I just wanna jump right into it, not waste much time. All right, like I said, this is the 2023 year-end uh, recap slash, I don't know, vlog number eight. Kind of tell you where we're at right now. Currently, as of uh, December 30th, close to New Year's Eve, right? 30th? Yes, 30th. And boy, oh boy, have we come far. Um, but before I get to kind of the end of, the end of it, uh, it's been about three weeks or so since my last update. And again, a lot has been done. So let's jump right into it. All right, first and foremost, if you guys recall, this HVAC was the bane of my fucking existence. I'm sorry for the language, but it really tested my patience. But we're done, finally, sort of. We got partial inspection, uh, mainly because there are some grills that need to be put in in the back over there. Not a big deal. Uh, the majority of the HVAC is done. Also, if you haven't noticed, we're all Painted black, first coat at least. All beautiful, dark, dark, lonely black. Super dark, super, super dark. Uh, that's the first coat. We'll do another coat once we kind of wrapping up with all the main construction, which should happen very soon. Um, but yeah, um, all beautiful black. That wall back that excuse me, that back there will have some artwork kind of pop out a little bit. There's some artwork on that wall as well. If I scoot around here. That's our TV wall. We're gonna have eight TVs showing various 80s goodness. And that white strip right there is gonna be covered. It's gonna be a soffit, so it's gonna pop out a little bit. It will also be painted black. However, there'll be three strips of beautiful neon wrapping all around the building. But, the biggest improvement is da, 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 our crown jewel, our majestic bar in all its glory. They're still working on it, but I'd say 95% of it is complete as far as wrapping it goes, um, which was a, an undertaking in itself because we kept changing the design, but I think it is beautiful. We're gonna seat about 30 people, give or take. So, pretty large, pretty large. Um, this right here is fur down, which we kind of added last minute as we kept changing the design of the TVs. So now you're gonna have four TVs there, you're gonna have three TVs there, and three TVs there. So, if you're sitting there, you'll see TVs there. If you're sitting there, you have TVs there. If you're sitting here, you have TVs there. Mostly sports, um, maybe throw in some Twitch streams or whatnot, but mostly sports will be thrown in here, so we have a kind of a variety of, of sports from around the world. That wall over there will be mostly multimedia stuff, um, advertisements, Twitch streams, 80s music videos, 80s commercials, you know, whatever we want to put up there really, not sports related. Um, so yeah, this was a, a massive win. Thankfully, we wrapped it up for the end of the year. We can kind of start 2024 off running. Uh, what else we got? A lot of electrical has been completed and a lot of electrical has been left. Um, these guys are knocking out of the park, thankfully, um, as my framing guys have. Um, again, nothing really to change, nothing to show here. Again, this is just the bathrooms and office and and uh, janitor closet All right. quick view into the um, uh, kitchen oh one thing we also got sprinklers got those damn pesky sprinklers that we were hoping we did not need to have but we do but they knocked it out pretty quickly and they're done 
They knocked out like in two days. They, they were fucking rocking it. I'm also not terribly mad about it because uh, I keep telling everyone, let's fill the ceiling with much wiring and piping and whatever else we can to kind of hide the ugly ass ceiling. The black has helped quite a bit to kind of mask the ugly foam, um, but it's still there nonetheless. All right, walking along. Just trying to figure out any other crazy updates here. Like I said, the bar being the biggest, kind of close up there of the video wall. All the money I'm about to spend every month or every day, kind of wrapped up in a nice little package right here for electrical. Oh, if you have not seen yet, let's kind of mosey on outside real quick and take a, take a look at another beautiful little achievement. <laughs> beautiful signs, beautiful beacons of beer and games. There's one. And two. They're massive. They're so, so massive. I think we hit the actual maximum allowed by the city. <laughs> All right, back inside. This is our giant hood sitting in the crate. That was fun. That was a um, misadventures of a forklift. Heavy, heavy, awkward nonsense. All right, so that's it. That is it. All right, so that's it folks. Uh, 2023 is almost done. And while we obviously missed our grand opening of December 31st, uh, we've made some massive progress. I'm not gonna get an official date yet because every time I do, we miss it. Uh, I'm gonna say coming soon, very, very soon. Uh, all the big stuff is pretty much wrapped up with the exception of uh, the soffit that's gonna go up there, uh, the hood system, and um, that's kind of the big stuff, right? Um, yeah, the soffit and the hood. Once those are done, it's kind of just small minor details. But again, those minor details can take a while. Um, what else? Yes, yeah, so that's it. So we've been starting, we started construction in July, August, uh, give or take. So not bad. I mean, we're looking at about six months probably total of construction until we're open, give or take. If you do the math, I'll kind of give you an idea of what I'm shooting for um, from an opening date. We'll have a soft opening. First, we'll have a kind of friends and family, then I'll have a soft opening, and then we'll have um, the grand opening. Um, on top of all of this that I'm working on, I'm also working on trying to get all the machines up to par. Um, we're gonna have about 50 machines, give or take, that'll hit the floor running opening day, hopefully. Um, we got more than 50 machines um, for in case for backups and games that break. I'm trying to have kind of an internal kind of a metric for myself having no game or no game not working longer than 72 hours, maybe 48 hours, and if not, we swap the game out. So if I can't fix it, we're gonna swap it out. So the, the downtime for games should be minimal. You should never come in here with more, no less, or no more than one, two tops games that are not working. Obviously, we want 100% uptime, but that's gonna be really, really difficult in a modern arcade that runs ancient games. <laughs> uh, they are prone to, to break down. Um, what else? That's about it. So yeah, again, 2023, it's a long, frustrating, but eventful year. I'm glad it's over. 2024 should be a bright, bright, shining star, hopefully, for the city of Round Rock and all you guys waiting for this patiently. And I appreciate that. We've been working on this now for six years, give or take really pushing in the past year. Um, I keep promising and promising and promising, but um, we're, we're almost there. We're almost across the finish line. We're getting there. Uh, I know a lot of people are anxious. Round Rock is bustling now with anticipation. Uh, our follower counts across social media have been blowing up since the sign's been up. So people are waiting. People are eager for something to do here in, in Round Rock. So I can't wait to deliver, or hopefully deliver. And I think we will uh, deliver the goods. So again, 
Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys um, 2024. See you then.